This video is supported by patrons like you. If you'd like to become a patron supporter, please go to patreon.com slash TJR the original. Thanks. Hello, this is TJR. Hot off the heels of the biopic Rocket Man is me, Elton John's first and only autobiography. And quite frankly, the timing couldn't be better. I enjoyed Rocket Man as cinema, and I respect the fact that it openly acknowledged that rock biopics are not always as factual as they portray themselves to be, designed instead to give audiences more of an emotional experience than a factual one. Now, Rocket Man the movie achieved this by being a blatant musical fantasy, albeit one with a definite mix of reality enclosed. Rocket Man was the cinema experience, so now here is me to set the record straight, or, to paraphrase Motley Crue, give us the dirt. In me, Elton John separates fact from fantasy, reality from rumor, going behind all those British tabloid headlines, delineating what was real and what was tabloid fiction, and what was a mixture of both. Me has Elton John discussing the different phases of his musical career, giving an album-by-album album commentary that is unafraid to be brutally honest about what his best and his worst work was. He revisits and gives insight into every single musical collaboration of his career, from John Lennon to Eminem, from Leon Russell to Lady Gaga. He goes on at great length about his long-standing working relationship and friendship with lyricist Bernie Taupin. He discusses in great detail his friendships with musicians like the aforementioned John Lennon, Rod Stewart, and Freddie Mercury. From public figures like Princess Diana and the royal family, to the enormous impact that the Ryan White family made on his personal life, and how their example of basic human decency made him want to become a better person. Some of the more surprising revelations in me include the following. Warning, spoilers ahead. Elton John's first guitarist, Davy Johnstone, a musician that continues to work with him to this day and is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated guitarists in rock history, had never actually played electric guitar prior to working with him and had previously only played acoustic guitar. All the Nasties from Madman Across the Water is about a still in the closet Elton pondering how the world might react to his coming out, something he wouldn't do until many years later. After John Lennon's death, Yoko Ono approached Elton John to finish writing John Lennon's catalog of unfinished songs. And, believe it or not, he is Eminem's AA sponsor. And if you think I've spoiled too much already, trust me, I have barely touched the tip of this iceberg. Me covers pretty much every aspect of Elton John's life, career, and music that I would have wanted him to talk about had I the chance to interview him. And then he goes a step further and covers what you hadn't yet realized that you actually needed to know about Elton John. One upside to autobiography is that you get the subject's side of the story. The downside is that sometimes said subject's side can be colored with personal bias. For this reason, we should all be thankful that Elton John has lived long enough to tell his own story from the perspective of having made it to an older, more mature age. Because all throughout me, Elton John seems to be trying his damnedest to be as bluntly honest as he possibly can be when discussing himself at his worst, as well as at his best. A younger Elton John might not have had the capacity to be as honest as he is in me. Now, I should also add that he is careful only to tell his story and not anyone else's except for when and where it relates to his own story. For instance, when mentioning that he is Eminem's AA sponsor, I get the feeling that the reason he gives so little detail beyond the mention of it is that it's Eminem's story to tell, and not his. Trust me, though, he goes into great detail about his own journey through AA. And while me does cover his songwriting, do I wish it had covered more of his songwriting process? Yes, I do. But somehow, as I listen to him talk about the speed at which he seems to create melodies from lyrics, 
it feels like his process is not unlike the way it's shown in the movie Rocket Man, almost effortless at times. In the chapter where he relates preparing actor Taron Egerton to portray him in the movie Rocket Man, he lets the actor have a look at his journals from the 70s. They read like this, got up, wrote Benny and the Jets, had lunch, called Ringo about his party. I get the impression that perhaps the process of writing a song for Elton John is no more remarkable to him than the process of having lunch. By the way, I should mention that the audiobook version of me is read by Taron Edgerton, and his reading, as you might expect, is phenomenal. There were moments when I forgot that it was the actor reading and actually thought it really was Elton John. Side note, there are a few brief instances wherein Elton describes a few unkind words that he and Keith Richards had in the press between each other. Recently, I read Keith Richards' autobiography entitled Life, and after reading Elton's book, I would have to say that at least two things that both musicians have in common are their opinions about performing live and an incredible physical resilience to the physical abuse of drug and alcohol use. Rock and roll has definitely had its casualties, and Elton does talk about some of them. Many of them were his friends, after all. Sir Elton could have been one of them, and he writes from the perspective of being very much aware of this. By the book's end, he expresses gratitude that he can now live a normal life, or, as he puts it in his book, as normal a life as is possible when you are Elton John. This is TJR. Those are my thoughts on the book, Me, by Elton John. Have you read this book? What did you think? Please let us know in the comments. Are you planning on reading the book? Let us know that too. As always, if you like what I'm doing, be sure to click like, click subscribe, and be sure to press the bell notification icon so you can know when I release new videos. Thanks everybody for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.